glad that you're here today. Let's come on in, find a seat. I'm Christine. I'm so glad to be with you this morning. How about we go ahead and stand in preparation for worship? Ah, oh, I would love to do a little activation. Like, can we just come with thanksgiving? Right? The Lord says, come before him with thanksgiving. I'm going to ask the Lord right now just to remind you of something you're grateful for. Can we do that? Jesus, I thank you. It's our desire to come before you with an overflowing, thankful heart. Lord, we get pulled by the world. We get pulled by the circumstances. We get pulled by everything. And so, Lord, we are focusing on you. So, Lord, would you just remind us of something we're thankful for in this moment? And even as he does, just out loud, begin thanking him. Lord, I thank you that you are with us. Lord, I thank you that we get to worship you, not from a place of hoping you'll come, but worshiping you because you're here. And so, Lord, it's our desire this morning to give all of ourselves to you as a sacrifice of praise. And Lord, we even say, it's not even a sacrifice anymore because you are worthy. Lord, thank you for giving us the experience of what it is to be one body in you. Jesus, we acknowledge it takes your grace to do that. We receive it now in order to love you from a full and overflowing heart this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 
going to happen next. Look for the Holy Spirit. Don't look for what's going to happen next. We look to you, Holy Spirit. We look to you, Jesus. We look to you, Abba. Would you increase your presence? Would you increase? Increase. Would you open our eyes, open our ears? for what you can do for us, but because you've chosen to come close. We don't want to miss a moment of you, Holy Spirit. So make yourself available to the Lord. Make yourself available to the Lord. Pray in the Spirit. Make yourself available to the Lord. Lord, help me open my eyes. 
Call attention to you, Jesus. Call attention to you, Jesus. Show us your beauty. Show us your glory. Show us the light of your face. The light of your face. The light of your face. For the light of your face, I incline myself to you, Abba. For the light of your face, for the light of your face, for the light of your face. Savior say thy strength indeed is small child of weakness watch and pray but find in me thine all in all Jesus paid it all all to him I owe Sin a crimson stain he washed it white
sound come out of your mouth. It doesn't have to be a song. It doesn't have to be words or tongues. When we release a sound, we join with what's happening. We're no longer spectators, but we're part of the host of heaven that's releasing sound to the Lord.
your bridegroom king speaking over you. Every part of you is so beautiful, my darling. Perfect is your beauty without flaw within. Let that sink in. Who could you be if nothing were wrong with you? Because of Jesus, there's no flaw. I'm Christine. I'm on the pastoral staff here. I want to welcome you again to Grace Center. Welcome to our online viewers. I um, was a little undone there. I literally was caught up into the Lord's laughter over us. You know how a parent with their little children just cracks up? Just the joy that goes back and forth and the giddiness and the laughter. He was just enjoying us so much this morning. Well, if you are new here at Grace Center, we would love to answer any questions you might have. If you scan this QR code, it will uh, take you to a form and you can put in your information and a pastor will reach out to you later to connect with you. Um, we would love to continue our worship through uh, receiving tithes this morning. Um, there's a couple of ways we you can do that is... Um, either with checks or cash. We have boxes at both doors with envelopes for that. Or you can go to our Push Pay app um, or gracecenter.us slash give. We always love to make declarations over our um, finances. And so we do that by standing together and reading um, this week's declaration together. So if you would join me in that, I'd appreciate it. You ready? As we pray for new wells of revival, 
We pray for new economic wells in our cities to be created. So Lord, we ask you for favor for our city with CEOs, government leaders and kings, manufacturing firms that are gonna just do amazing and bring prosperity to our land. <laughs> Pray for jobs and better jobs, for bonuses, sales and commissions, for, it's okay. It is really okay. I don't have this one memorized yet. Oh, so Lord, thank you for our finances. Thank you for the increase. Thank you that we get to shower upon you all that you are due, blessing and honor and glory and power. May you get your full reward in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. You may be seated. Well, that was fun. All right. Well, do we have... Oh, we do not. Okay. Well, at this time, you know what? We were going to do a little something fun this morning. Anyway, at this time, I would love to uh, I invite up Michael and Andrea Giordano. Give them a welcome, everybody. Oh. Um, they are going to make an announcement. They're going to share about an opportunity, a missions opportunity. Um, for those watching online, we will need to cut our video feed temporarily as a way to protect um, our mission partners uh, because we're talking about a closed nation. But we will re resume our live stream uh, as quickly as possible. So we want to thank our online viewers for your patience. Anyway. Hey, how are you?
All right, well, I understand that our video announcements are ready to go. And uh, welcome back, online viewers. If you will turn your attention to the screen, we'll watch this week's video announcements. ayuda conectándote o si tienes alguna pregunta durante nuestros servicios de los domingos. Este es un recordatorio que la traducción al español está disponible durante el, nuestros servicios de las 11 y 15 de la mañana a través de la aplicación interactiva. Si necesitas ayuda descargándola, entra a gracecenter.us barra inclinada traducción o pregunta a una persona y te podremos ayudar. Estamos muy emocionados de crecer como una familia multicultural de creyentes llenos de esperanza que crean un ambiente donde la presencia de Dios puede descansar. Adiós. Join us after second service today for our Missions Connect Lunch in the prayer room. We will be hearing from a member of Grace Center whose identity we cannot disclose in order to protect her and the Practical Compassion Organization in a closed nation. The organization she works with provides life-saving care for unborn babies, infants, and children in war zones and in some of the hardest conditions on earth. You do not want to miss what she will be sharing with us. Lunch is available for a suggested donation of $5. All are welcome. Last weekend, we launched Sunday night prayer and worship time and had a beautiful time together. Join us back in the prayer room tonight from 6 to 7.30 p.m. as we continue to fix our eyes on Jesus and agree with his heart in prayer for our homes, our city, our nation, and beyond. Today is the last day to register for our upcoming Grace Revealed Weekend happening April 19th and 20th. Join us for our weekend centered around personally experiencing the transforming presence of Jesus. We will spend our time unpacking all that Jesus has provided for us as believers and discover the healing he offers for our internal wounds or mindsets that could be hindering our growth into fully mature sons and daughters. Grace Revealed is open to all those who attend Grace Center and is an especially great next step for those who are interested in serving. Learn more and sign up by visiting gracecenter.us slash event. Families with kids ages infant through 12th grade are invited to join us for our family worship night on Wednesday, May 1st from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the main auditorium. The heart of this night is to discover more of what it can look like to host the presence of God as a family unit. We will worship together and have stations for creative expression. Doors will open at 6.15 for those who would like to come early to connect. All materials and light snacks will be provided. There's no cost to attend. Just let us know you're coming by registering at gracecenter.us slash events. Hope to see you there. Thanks for joining us this morning. For more information on what's happening at Grace Center, visit gracecenter.us slash events. Have a great week. Have a great week. Yay. Um, we got, I've got one more, we've got one more announcement real quick. Kate, can you come on up? And this is Kate, our middle school pastor, and she's going to say a couple of things. Oh, there we go. Good morning. Good morning. I am Kate Fortunato. I'm the middle school pastor for Keep It Real Youth, and I am also, uh, I help coordinate missions and outreach for our youth here at Grace Center. And we wanted uh, to come and just say thank you to you all. Um, we got back from our high school mission trip just about a month ago um, and wanted to share just briefly about that and to start, we have a video uh, that we would love for you to see.
Thank you. So we took 24 wonderful human beings to Puerto Rico with us during spring break. Um, our students and leaders served the community of Mar Azul. We were able to help them prepare their new building in the San Juan campus. And so we've, Grace Center has been partners with Mar Azul since 2018. And what had happened was when Hurricane Maria happened in 2017, Mar Azul took what they were saving to buy their own building. And they took that money, went to Costco and bought food and supplies for the people of Puerto Rico. And so it was our joy and our honor to now, seven years later, be there with them, helping them prepare their building for their San Juan campus. And it was kind of like a full circle moment for Grace Center um, of just being able to be there. They had their first services um, the last Sunday in March in their new building, um, which is just, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, Grace Center has now served on every campus that they have, whether it was that original team, SOSL, the School Supernatural Life Center team, and Keep It Real has sent teams. And so we're just so thankful. Uh, Marazul has always felt like family. Our students have served so incredibly well. Um, and we just wanted to say thank you to you all. We got up and shared um, just before the trip that we still had finances that were needed. And within 48 hours of us sharing with you, our church family, every trip was paid for. So thank you so much. Thank you for believing in these teens. Thank you for seeing them. Um, and thank you for sowing into what the Lord is doing both here and in Puerto Rico. We love y'all. Um, here we go. Uh, let's do something real quick, really quick. Can we turn the lights? Are they up? Just stand up and just greet the people around you, and then we're going to get started here in about a minute and a half. <laughs> Michael.
Okay. Let's go ahead and come back to our seats. <clears throat> Okay. All right, we're going to do something. Um, that wasn't in the script. In case we did have a script. <laughs> Um, so this is one of those times where uh, I'm, I'm just following a hunch, barely, a, not, not a hunch, but I'm just, um, and then when Michael said what he said, I had to ask him again because I, I was, I didn't hear exactly what he said about worship this morning and it confirmed what I'm sensing. And so here's the thing, here's the, so what I'm sensing, there's a risk that, you know, there's no risk, let me take that, strike that one from the record. We're not trying to make something happen. So this is not trying to make something happen. This is not, uh, there have been some things that have been happening that we're taking note of about the Lord's presence being here last week. Uh, if you were here, <clears throat> Bill Zofel gave his testimony about the eradication of cancer it was just <laughs> gone. Yes! And, um, and so when if you put on the logic hat, the logic hat says, well, he's here all the time to do that. So we don't have to make room for him, but it's like, ah, you put on the heart cap from the heart. It's like, oh no. We, we want to uh, just adore him just a little bit, a little bit longer, just adore him and, um, and to thank him. Um, So I got a, a, a voice text this week from Michelle on Tuesday, or was it Wednesday? Wednesday, and just talking about what had happened in the young adult uh, group this past week. And so I just wanted to take time for you guys to mention what's, what's happening. And so... This Monday was our Young Adults Community Home Gathering where we share a meal and we press into the Lord together and just see what God wants to do. And this week was so beautiful. Um, and just to recognize again this morning, this moment, God is here. <laughs> God was there on Monday night, but he is here right now. He's the living God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your closeness. Thank you, God, for these days where you are drawing near, where you are leaning in to your bride and your church. Lord, we lean into you. Thank you, Lord. So just to 
bear witness and just to share the testimony and to testify of Jesus. Monday night we were together and we shared a meal and it was high fellowship time. We had a great time together hanging out. Richard shared, we, we, were, we were pointing and noticing the things that are around, that are happening. So we had the eclipse that day on Monday, these signs and wonders in the sky. Everyone looking up. It was the, the first day of Nisan on the Hebrew calendar. So this is the biblical new year. <laughs> the first day of spring. <laughs> Who, Jesus? So we were together at sundown that night. We entered into Nisan one. And we were together and we were eating. We were feasting. We had communion together. Richard shared from scripture about the 10 virgins and being ready. And the Lord had shown him this thing about the wise virgins being prepared for the bridegroom. The wise had both of their hands on God. They had an, a lamp in one hand and oil in the other hand. It was like both hands holding fast to Jesus. The foolish virgins had one hand on God, one hand with a lamp, and what was in their other hand could be the cares of this world. It could be worries, it could be riches, it could be pleasures. <sighs> but one hand, not both hands. So we, he led us in a time of just asking the Holy Spirit to show us what's in our hand and to lay these things and to invite the Lord to bring an exchange to lay these things down and to hold on with him, both hands again. Right after that, we took communion. We had the body and blood of Jesus in both of our hands. Oh, Jesus. We began to just love him and thank him for what he's given. And to just help us give him more. We began to repent and cry out for the fear of the Lord to mark this generation. <laughs> we read scripture and the Holy Spirit was ministering for a long time and we began to, <laughs> it was going on for so long. We, there was a moment where it was like, do we land this? Do we keep pressing in? But we eventually like had a landing moment where all of us said, amen and no one moved. We all said a collective amen, and no one moved for about two minutes. And we sat there in silence, and I was like, okay, Lord, you're still resting. You're still here. So we read the scripture about the whole Psalm about being still and knowing that he is God. He will be exalted in the nations. He will be exalted in the earth. And one began to worship quietly Ooh. and just release a, a melody. And several more began to join in. We didn't have any instruments. <laughs> and all of us began to worship quietly and just adore him. And as we were worshiping, it felt like God just came, 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 <laughs> just like he is this morning. He's just being lifted up on our praises they're just glorified more freedom began to come into the room as we just worshipped him and we began to sing louder and louder and there was a moment where one stood up singing shout to the Lord all the earth let us sing power and majesty praise to the king mountains bow down the seas will roar at the sound of your name Jesus woo we began shouting amazing grace and even the doxology was these old songs just spontaneously loving him. And we got to sit back and just love him. It was like everything else just ceased to exist except for his majesty and his beauty and his glory. Every time I talk about it, woo, it's like he's right here. You didn't have to be there because he's here right now and he's drawing so near, Jesus. We love you, God. Oh, we glorify you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Worthy are you, God. We began crying out even for deliverance to come to the Jewish people and we prayed over Israel and they would know their Messiah. Oh, Jesus. 
And even today, 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 today is 414, April 14. And I just can't get away from Esther 414. Would you cry out? Maybe you have become queen for such a time as this. That you would cry out for deliverance for my people, the Jewish people. If you don't step in, if you're silent in this time, then deliverance will come from another place. Oh, Jesus. But as I've just been meditating on these things that we've been in worship this morning, the sense that I have is, oh, Jesus. What if all the preparation, all the beautification that we've been on as a church, even as a people, individually and corporately, has been preparation to enter into the King? to enter in, to go into the King. He's making us ready, church. We have to make ourselves ready for Him. It's for Him. It's for the person of Jesus. It's not for a thing or something to happen, just like we were singing. It's beautiful King Jesus, who is Lord, who sits on the throne, who is high and lifted up. girl's knee got healed on Monday. She's been receiving prayer for a year and she was able to go down on her knees and worship the Lord. Another was praying in a heavenly language. This is all so beautiful. It's testimonies of Jesus, but they're secondary to the one Jesus. He's the most beautiful one. We adore you, Jesus. Oh, we enter in, we enter into your presence, Lord, because of the blood of Jesus. We draw near through the curtain that's been torn, which is your flesh. We enter into your presence to be with you, God, to love you, to minister to you. Had a, I just had this this verse came to mind during worship. Um, I just <laughs> I just uh, <sighs> oh, Lord. just gonna read it. God has chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty and the base things of the world and the things which are despised. God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should glory in His presence. But of Him you are in Christ Jesus who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. God, our hearts cry that you would receive glory and that we would glory in you, God. We're tired of man getting glory, God. We want to see your glory, Jesus. It's your church and it's your glory, God. Please forgive us for taking your glory.
just worship the Lord. You can stand if you want to.
truth is that the bride has to make herself ready to come into the King. And I just want to give an opportunity now, if there's something that you're holding on to with your other hand and you want to let go of it and hold on to God with both hands, if you want oil in both your hands, if you want your lamp and the jug of oil, have oil in both your hands, then I just want you to pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I repent for holding on to the other things with one of my hands. Would you cleanse my hands? Would you purify me right now? I take hold of you with both hands. Would you draw me close to you, Lord? I want to know you. I want to love you with all my heart. I want to be ready for you. Would you make me ready? So Lord Jesus, I thank you for doing that right now, for every person who prayed that prayer. Holy Spirit, would you come? Would you do what only you can do? Would you move? Would you pour oil onto us? Would you fill us to overflow? Would you give us the grace to keep you in both our hands and to keep our eyes on you, Jesus? Would you draw us into your chamber? Would you make us ready to meet you? Holy Spirit, would you make us ready to meet Jesus? Would you beautify us for the King? for this service. The Lord is healing hypothyroidism, someone with a cancer diagnosis, kidney failure, a healing from a car accident, a right foot injury, someone needing peace, clarity for next steps, uh, someone that's struggling to dream. The Lord wants to give you the ability to dream big. Uh, someone that needs integrity, struggling to be integrous. Uh, someone healing for the left hip and someone with a lump in the breast. We would love, again, to pray for any need you might have if you'll just come forward. Um, just
also, also wanted to make you aware of today after this after second service is the last uh, is the deadline for the Grace Revealed weekend. If you were wanting to attend but hadn't made that decision yet, please do so today because I wouldn't want you to miss out. With that, thank you uh, for being here today. Thank you to our online viewers. Have an amazing week. Um, there's such a presence of the Lord. Uh, there's such a presence of the Lord in the room. You're welcome to uh, quietly exit, if you would, for those that are still being ministered to. We appreciate that. Thanks. Have a great week.